Hello and welcome to this fourth tutorial video on how to make an unjointed memory bear. We've got one of our arms, this is now turned the right way round, and we've got one of our legs with the foot pad in place and we've got to work out which of the bodies they get attached to. So we look for the back, so the back opening and its round tummy. Here we've got the round tummies this side and the back opening is there. So if we turn this the right way up, so his tummy's pointing this way and his back's there, let's lose that one because this is the correct one. Once we place these holes together, you'll see his leg points forward and his arm with a curve up points forward. So we identified which body section we're attaching to. And now we're going to attach using those holes. So line the holes up. You'll see there are notches marked on on your arm on the inside there and on the body. So line those up. The arm will hang quite straight down. Once you've got that lined up, pin it in place and then work out where the other notches on the bottom of the hole on the body and line them up. So you've got all of your right sides together, the arm's right side out and the right side of the inner arm is against the body. Pin all the way around this hole and on the other side there. This is quite a forgiving fabric, it's a little bit stretchy. Oh, always a good thing. Don't get too stretchy. And then the same with the leg. Now the leg is actually going to sort of be almost in a sitting position. So his, the top notch on the body is going to line up with the notch that's kind of towards the front of his leg. So he he's going to be in a sitting, semi-sitting position. So arm hanging quite straight down leg pointing slightly forwards. And line up the notches. There are two notches on each of these holes. Pin it in place. And then round the back of the hole there. And around to the other side. There we go. And just check. There, that's that's right. He's in a sort of slightly sitting position. And we're going to sew all the way around both of those holes, sewing the arm and the leg to the body. Here are our two bodies, both with their arm and leg attached. This one, as we've just completed it, all sewn around. And we're now going to turn it the wrong sides out, the same as the other one there. So wrong sides out, arm out, and leg out. Pull it all through. There we go and leaving this section at the back open and this section at the neck we're going to sew them together so let's start pinning we'll pin from that notch at the top it's a nice identifier and then there at the top of the neck Just another one down to the notch at the bottom of the back opening, just there. And around to the dot at the bottom of the body. And then we're going to have to kind of guesstimate here because we don't have any notches or anything, but it's quite quite a nice definite shape to him so we can sort of line it up 
and the lines on our pattern are going to help as well. If you do have a design, a pattern on your fabric, take a little bit of extra time to line it up nicely across the front. This bit is going to be very visible, so it's worth taking that extra time to line up those little lines. Line up the lines. And then one at the top there, and we're going to sew it. It's all wrong side out now. Just that little back section from the neck to the top of the back opening. And then from the bottom of the back opening all the way around to the front of the neck, leaving this section open. That's where we're going to attach the head. We're going to attach the head to the body. Now this neck is quite wide on the head compared to the neck on the body. And that's just because of the fabric we're using. It varies depending on the angles you're cutting at and the shapes you're cutting. So I'm going to cheat a little bit and I'm going to do running stitch around the neck. The wonderful thing about making memory bears, about making anything from recycled fabrics, is that every single time you do it, it can be different. That can also be one of the challenges of working with recycled fabrics, but it's well worth it. So a little bit of running stitch around this neck will help to bring it in so that it's easier to sit in position in the neck of the body. So as you can see this head is right side out and the body is wrong side out. Running stitch all the way around the very bottom of the neck. I'm doing it in a contrasting colour because I'm going to just pull it out when I'm done. When I've sewn the head in position. There we go, just a last little bit to take me back to the chin. There. Oh, just a little tiny bit more. Last few stitches, that's it. Okay. Lose the needle. Make sure I've got both ends so I can pull it in a little bit and I'm going to make sure that the front of my bear's head is facing the front of my bear's body. You can either go in through the back opening or you can go in through the neck. I'm just going to go in through the neck. So with the front of your bear's head facing towards the front of your bear's body, just scoop it all up and pop it in. So his chin and his nose are pointing towards his tummy on the inside. And that dart there can line up with the front of the body, the seam that goes down the front of the body. And because I've pulled it in a little with my running stitch, it's a little easier to just position it. So do the front first and then do the back. There's a dart at the back of the head there that will line up with the seam down the back and then line up the sides once you've lined up these positioning points and pinned it in place you can pull your running stitch in just a little bit so that it's easier to sew it into position but some fabrics you won't need to some fabrics will fit in beautifully flush this is just a tip just in case and once that's all pinned into position you sew all the way around the outside and that's the body together that concludes our tutorial video i hope it's been helpful if it has please subscribe we'd love your feedback and a like there are more videos coming soon.